Hi all. In my today's video cast, I'll talk about uh, creating a simple uh, JSF uh, based application uh, with the help of uh, JSF2, Tomcat, and Eclipse Juno. Uh, so as we know, JSF2 is based on uh, completely on annotations. Uh, so it has eliminated the uses of uh, faces config XML and web.xml files. Uh, so your managed beans, everything, whatever is being used as a JSF resource uh, can be uh, achieved by using annotations. So I'll show you that how do we, how can we create a uh, JSF application uh, in my Eclipse base ID and with the help of, we'll deploy that in Tomcat server. So to get started, uh, I have used Eclipse G uh, Juno, which is the latest release from Eclipse. Uh, so right click in your project explorer, create new dynamic web project. Then give any name, say demo JSF. Then uh, target runtime is Tomcat 7, since we are using Tomcat 7. Uh, dynamic web model version 3.0. Uh, then in configuration level, you can change it to Java server faces 2.1 or 2.0. Uh, so currently, the latest version is 2.1. Uh, we can choose either one. Uh, so let's uh, choose 2.1. Uh, then it lasts for a few. Uh, information inputs from us. Um, so uh, either way we can eliminate web.xml, the entry of web.xml uh, from our applications. Though it is not mandatory, but we can still keep it. Uh, now we need a JSF implementation libraries. Uh, so you can download the JSF uh, uh, the reference implementation from Oracle site or uh, uh, from the java.net site. The website is uh, javaserverfaces.java.net. There you can download uh, the default or uh, the default reference implementation of JSF 2.0 API. Uh, so there is an option to configure JSF servlet. Even if uh, as of JSF 2, this is not uh, mandatory, but still you can keep it to see our applications over there. So click on finish. So our application is ready over here, and uh, as you can see, we can just we'll see the libraries. So you can see the libraries. JSF 2.1 has been added. Uh, even if the jar of Java like, jar which contains the implementation is already added to this. So for us, it is not uh, like we don't have to go in depth to that. Now just navigate web.xm uh, sorry web content folder. We have webnf, lib, web.xml. And the main is face con faces config.xml. So the, our ID has created this file, but it is not mandatory for JSF to this applications. So I, I'll just show you how do we, how can we eliminate the users of faces config.xml. Uh, so let's first create a some simple uh, XHTML page. Um, as of uh, JSF2, the default view page or view technology is used as a facelet or a XHTML page. You just click on new other, then here you just click on this, give it index, click on next, choose the template over here, then it has a lot of things for you. Just delete this template and use. Sorry, add. No. So this is my head, now I call on body. Output level, uh, level you can keep in things. For example, we'll say, uh, JSF demo page. Now let's run this page. It's pretty simple. Click on the NAS or on server, choose opposite Tomcat. That we don't finish. So uh, it will be deployed to our server, and uh, in a moment we can see our page. So so this is what we, we got it here. Uh, now this is a basic example of uh, XHTML page. Now we'll create a uh, managed main, which is a, a main part of any JSF application. 
and i'll show you how easily we can create a menace bin uh, without uh, knowing uh, like without entering the information in freshes config xml which we are doing in jsf 1 or 1.1 1 and 1.2 based uh, applications so just right click click new class you will say you name the uh, manage bin as grid bin uh, then you generate comments say dot demo jsf dot sample dot bins finish and as of case of uh, uh, two everything is annotated uh, based on annotations uh, for so for manage bins uh, we have two annotations mainly the main thing is main annotation is manage bin either it manage bin is part of java x dot faces dot bin package uh, so when you give manage bin the faces servlet will identify it will come through your class and it will just identify this grid bin as a case uh, of manage bin and it has an attribute called name so you you if you want to have an identifier for your, for your manage bin then you can give it here let's say i'll give, give it grid you will not give it anything by the naming convention uh, the name will be given is grid bin with g with, with g as a small letter uh, so but we want to give it some name over here so this is grid now the next most most important thing is the scope so we can say we want to be uh, we want to make the manage bin be part of a request scope so i given request scope so there are uh, several scopes uh, session scope application scope view scope i'll be discussing that in my uh, further uh, videos uh, so this is the typical or easiest way to create a jsf managed bin in jsf2 uh, now let's uh, create a method over here public string grid and uh, return return some value here uh i'll come to jsf2 and let's have a constructor over default constructor okay nothing else only constructor over here so that's pretty easy now our uh, uh, manage bin is ready how do we use them in my xhtml pages uh, let's say we want to replace this the values i want to call the uh, method of this manage bin uh, let's say how do we do to the deferred expression language um, how do i do my i have registered my grid bin to a name called grid so grid dot grid method name is also grid so if you need to this way uh, we can invoke this uh, probably we need to uh, deploy our application so we'll just uh, have a restart now just refresh so you can see uh, our xhtml pages uh, when we invoke this this my faces subtle will identify uh, through this deferred expression language it will identify the bin associated with the name grid so this is grid bin and it invokes uh, the corresponding method after that so grid dot grid so it just calls this method and returns it so whatever uh, we return it here it comes over here so this is a uh, the so, uh, simplest example of uh, uh, jsf based application with respect with the help of jsf2 um, uh, we have created a manage bin with uh, annotations so if i open faces config xml it's still empty so if you can see it's still empty we don't have to specify anything even if uh, we we don't have to register the uh, manage bin in my faces config xml file whereas in jsf 1.1 or 1.2 you have to register your <coughs> manage bin in the uh, faces config xml uh, so this is a uh, simplest example of uh, of a jsf2 based web application in my next videos i'll talk about uh, handling the actions or having a action in the form um, then controlling the navigations in jsf how do you control them control them